can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, S is equivalent to this value, wherein this symbol means floor value of X. For example, floor of pi, we know pi is 3.14. So floor of pi simply equivalent to 3. So floor value is the same thing as getting the greatest integer less than or equal to that number. That is the reason why floor value of pi simply equivalent to just 3. Now this S is equivalent to the floor of square root of 1 plus floor of square root of 2 plus floor of square root of 3 all the way down to the floor of square root of 2024. Now the question is what is the value of S? So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. How do we answer this kind of question? So let's list some term in this S. So what is the value of the floor of square root of 1? So technically, square root of 1 is 1, so the floor value of 1 is still 1. Now how about the floor value of square root of 2? So this is just 1 because square root of 2 is 1 point something. Square root of 3 is also 1, but Square root of 4, since square root of 4 is 2, so the floor value of is 2. Now, let's continue. The floor value of square root of 5 is also 2. The floor value of square root of 6 is 2. Square root of 7 is 2. Square root of 8 is 2. But, the floor value of square root of 9, since square root of 9 is a perfect square number, the floor value of square root of 9 is now 3. Now, from here, let's do some... Observation. So how many ones do we have? So we have 1, 2, 3, so 1 times 3. Now how many 2s do we have? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we have 2 times 5. And also, this 3 tells us we have 3 number that we when we get the floor of square root of that number, we get 1. And to count that, what we're going to do is to use this number 3 minus 1, then add 1 to it. So just counting 1, 2, and 3. Also, to get this 5, what we're going to do is to use this 8. So 8 minus 4, we have 4, then add 1 to it. So to get 5. Therefore, how many 3's do we have? So 3 times, we have square root of 15. So 15 minus 9 plus 1. And 15 minus 9 plus 1 simply equivalent to 3 times 7. So there are 7 3's. And now from here, we see again another pattern. So we have 1 times 3, 2 times 5, 3 times 7, 3, 5, 7 are all odd numbers. So this S is also equivalent to this pattern 1 times 3 plus 2 times 5 plus 3 times 7 all the way. 4 times 9, 5 times 11, and the pattern continues all the way down to this number right over here. But we know what is this number. So we want again another pattern. And since 3, 5, 7, 9 are all odd numbers, and we can write odd numbers as 2n plus 1. So we can write 1 times 3 as 1 multiplied by 2 times 1 plus 1. So using this number. And the other term, this 5, we can write using this 2 as 2 times 2 times 2 plus 1. And the pattern continues. This 11 is 2 times 5 plus 1. Now, surprisingly, square root of 2025 is 45. So meaning this is the last number before we reach 2025. Therefore, we can say that this number simply equivalent to the number, the integer before 45, which is 44. So 44 multiplied by 2 times 44 plus 1. All right, so now let's focus on this pattern. Because as you can see, we can rewrite this again using the summation notation as follows. So S is equivalent to the sum of N, this N, up to 44, multiplied by 2N plus 1 from n equals 1 up to 44. And let's multiply this n to 2n plus 1. So we have the summation of 2n squared plus n from n equals 1 up to 44. 
And now at this point, let's focus on this result and we will use some properties of summation. So this S, this expression right over here, we can rewrite this as 2 multiply by the summation of n squared from n equals 1 up to 44 plus the summation of n from n equals 1 up to 44. And from here, we will use some concept regarding summation. So we will need these two right over here. So the summation of i squared from i equals 1 up to n is equivalent to n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1 over 6. And the summation of i from i equals 1 to n is equivalent to n multiplied by n plus 1 all over 2. Now this n right over here is the number on the top of the summation. So we can say that the summation of n squared from n equals 1 up to 44 is equivalent to 44 times 44 plus 1 or n plus 1 multiplied by 2 times 44 plus 1 all over 6. And the summation of n from n equals 1 up to 44 is 44 multiplied by 44 plus 1 all over 2. Now simplifying this, this will give us 44 times 45 plus 89 over 6. And this will give us 45, 44 times 45 over 2. Now simplify those numbers. We have S is equivalent to 58,740 plus 990. And when we add those up, we get an answer of 59,730. And that's the answer to this question. Because this number is equivalent to this summation. And this summation is equivalent to S. Therefore, given this equation, S is equivalent to the floor of square root of 1 plus floor of square root of 2 plus floor of square root of 3 until floor of square root of 2024, then the value of S is equivalent to 59,730. And as always, we are done.